All right, let's take a look at part two of our final projects. Um, again, a really good start from you guys. Um, I think some tweaks and I think you guys will all get there. Uh, this one is the most difficult of the three, uh, sort of by design. It's very awkward to work with. Information's awkward, sizing is awkward, everything about it is awkward. So it's, it's tricky. Um, and I don't like to show student examples of this just um, on purpose, really. It's more to see what you guys do with it, um, you know, and, and sort of how you sort of visually kind of try to put it together. Um, so let's go through these. All right. So Roberts, um, not a bad start. Um, you need to be very mindful of your logos because I think all, th well, definitely these two are, are, are stretched. You want to make sure when you're resizing these that they're being... Um, the proportions are being constrained either by holding shift or by using your scale tool because uh, a client would not want their logo to be stretched by any means. Um, your the, the headline isn't, the Orno Times doesn't need to be in it at all. It's just the, the paper that it's going to be running in. Um, so that doesn't need to be in there. So your headline is more this is the headline and then you have your, your information here. Um, to have it laid out like this is, is always tricky to have it sort of like center, have this logo be front and center. Because uh, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of space uh, to, to work with. But I do have some ideas here if you want to keep this sort of center layout. Um, I would, you could kind of keep this area for your uh, headline, give or take, which is this. Uh, and then again with the registration mark make sure that we're super scripting that either with the baseline shift and resizing or there's a super script option uh, within your um, uh, character palette um, basically where you format all the type stuff that we've been doing this semester um, I'm trying to think of what else uh, yeah so um, you would have this area for your headline and I might stylize that a little bit you know feel free to use like a, a different you know more sort of interesting font or, or even a more playful font as it's you know sort of Halloween themed uh, as long as it's legible um, you know you can you can kind of play around with with fonts a little bit given given the theme um, and then you would effectively have two spots the way you have it laid out here you would have two spots to break up text, right? So this is the part that's tricky is all this text that you need to put in here, right? So there's a tagline here. Um, then there is, I think you're missing a line. Um, 10th annual night, yeah, scare up uh, for the collection kit. And I think there is help the world to see on site night, I believe. Um, so you have, you know, a couple of taglines that you can kind of fill in areas with, but if you wanted to have you know, the bulk of your information here, or even like, you know, three logos and then information here, and then have, you know, sort of a, an area here for a block of text. And then you could have like tagline, or even if you had your contact information larger at the bottom here, this is where looking up when we talked about looking up those, you know, those visual hierarchies uh, and looking up other ads, kind of think back to the um, you know, the old birthday card or party invitation, what, you know, what is important, the, any kind of event information, the what, when, where, how, who, all that, um, you know, so you kind of decide what is sort of the more important pieces of these uh, and what's, not that they're not important, but what's least important, right? So generally what it is, what they're doing and how to contact them. Um, so you can separate and visually separate those physically and visually separate those um, to sort of create those hierarchies. Um, yeah, so a couple suggestions, uh, hopefully, to work with. Hopefully, that helps. If you have questions, let me know. All right, Nickel. Boom. All right, so I think, again, here we have um, a bit of the same thing going on. We're missing the major, uh, the main, rather, Site Night logo. Um, so that will help fill some space there. But I think we have a decent idea for formatting here. Um, I would make sure that, again, that these three logos are optically carrying the same visual weight. Uh, like if you make them all, you know, one inch tall, obviously that's not gonna work. But like visually they need to be able to take up, you know, they need to be taking up the same amount of space. So you definitely need to make either the Lions logo and AAA logo smaller or the Lens Crafters logo bigger. But you need to sort of have them carry that same weight. But I like the idea of having the, you know, the three of them on a line and then you can kind of end your uh, ad with the, this tagline, right? I don't mind the way that you have this separated. I think this is a decent way to separate 
this information. Um, depending on where you're going to put your main logo, like if you had it, you know, left, give or take in this space, you had a lot of room for your headline to go all the way across. And again, I wouldn't be afraid of playing with that headline a bit, you know, using a, a, a more playful font or formatting it slightly, even if you want to put it on two lines, et cetera, et cetera. And again, watch that for that superscript there. But I like the way you have these separated. Uh, you know, you have this line here, could be a little bit bigger, a little bit more important, um, whereas this one could stay a little bit small. Um, not that it's not important, but it's less important. And then you have your contact information, right? Um, I don't know that I would go with just all left justified. I don't know that I would go all center justified, but this is where you kind of have to hit that sweet spot. So if basically like this kind of squarish, rectangular maybe area would be your area to fit it in if you had um, the right um, line spacing. So if you could put this on three lines, it might be a little bit more square. This one also, depending on a return, you could basically get that on three lines. And then this, you could get on two lines, even if you had, you know, this about the same size as this, and then have a return here, and then have this line be, you know, as large as this or something, you know what I mean? So you can break up, again, that visual hierarchy, but I think you have a good sort of base. I think you, you have actually a really good base with how this is broken up. Um, Usually people kind of do one or the other, but this is a great way to, I think, to, to break up that, that block of text, at least visually. So now, uh, or physically, I should say, um, at least now it's sort of separating them in, and establishing that, that visual hierarchy with how you have those separated. All right, very, all right, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. It'll probably pixelate. Um, so it's pixelating a little bit, not your fault, but. So again, good start. Um, I think you have your blocks of text broken up pretty well. Um, some some minor suggestions with it. Um, I I see the idea that you're going for here with the Lions logo, but you don't really want to have a sponsorship logo or logo really, unless it's repeated. Um, but without uh, without being repeated, you don't want it to be sort of looking like a watermark. Um, so. You want to make sure that the AAA Lens Crafters and the Lions logo sort of occupy the same amount of visual space, right? Um, so I think you have a really good start here. Um, I think what you could do here, I like the idea of having the logo on the right side. A um, couple different options. What you might be able to do is keep it about the same size, but start it so it's about here. Move it so it's, you know, here, give or take. And then that sort of frees up the top to maybe put this um, headline on one line large, you know, cutting across the entire top of the ad. Um, I like the way you have this broken up. I might actually put a return here and sort of separate these two, um, these two lines or even separate. So this is on another line by itself, a little bit bigger, maybe in this area, not as big as a headline, but a little bit bigger, maybe in this area. And then you could have this block of text be kind of small in this area. And then again, you know, this line about the same size as this and your contact information large. And then you could have this be as like a, a tagline here or even a tagline across the whole bottom and then have like the three logos across the bottom, right? So something like that. But I think the way that you started, again, like the last one, I think the way that you have this sort of started um, to break these apart, I think works really well. Um, again, you know, Paying attention to that formatting, filling the space, uh, making sure that you are paying attention to uh, assignment details, like what client wants and needs are uh, with the logos, et cetera, things like that. All right, Aiden, I'm gonna do this one. All right, um, I like the concept here, but it's a lot, right? There's a, there's a lot going on. Um, if I would get rid of this border, um, because if you saw this in a paper, I mean, it's probably going to be, I don't know, theoretically, these would run in a newspaper. So it would be, you know, about yay big. So it becomes really difficult to read and, and it's hard on the eyes, right? So for this, I would kind of just stick with sort of this space, get rid of this um, uh, border that you have going on. Um, I don't mind um, this sort of as a headline. Um, I know it said no other clip art, um, but the spider webs are, are, are good. I wouldn't have them attached to the logo though, because then people might think, or a client might think that it's you're manipulating their logo. 
but like attaching like block to block or even from word to word or something like that, I think is a cool idea. Um, but yeah, uh, I would make sure watch your C U S E. Um, uh, yeah, make sure you're watching your spelling. Um, but yeah, the trick or treat for a cause on, on site night, I think having it be in this sort of, frame, and if you get rid of the frame too, you have more room to put it at the top and make it a little bit bigger. But I like that being in this frame. I think there's a lot of black squares going on. There's a lot of squares and rectangles going on, so it's a little bit much. So um, I think if you had the Site Night logo here, right, give or take, like about this space. So you had like this dark black area and then a black area. And that sort of sets you up for this more square area to fit this information and like break it up. So if we thought about the way I talked about the last couple, um, you know, breaking it up into like effectively three or four kind of separate parts, you know, tag two different taglines and two paragraphs of information, you know, and how we break that up. Um, I think your logos, I think honestly, visually carry, give or take about the same amount of weight, I would have the Lions logo be a little bit bigger or smaller rather, but I would have all of these be a, a lot bigger. Um, so again, if you had, you know, effectively this space as your sort of usable space. You could have your, think about your tagline to help the world see this Halloween um, tagline here. And then you have another tagline here. And then you could have your three logos here. And then that leaves actually a decent amount of space to break up that, you know, this block of text and this block of text within within that uh, within that space. Uh, but yeah, I would say simplify a bit with this one. You know, again, getting rid of the border, getting rid of some of these shapes. You can certainly have some of the spider webs in there. Um, but yeah, I would uh, I would I, it's it's very busy visually with the all the different um, uh, elements you have going on. I would I would start to sort of edit your edit your ed, edit your elements there. That's tricky to say. All right, Melissa. Okay. So again, good. Whoops. I knew that was going to happen. Good start with the formatting. This is going to get pixelated as I bring it up. Um, I like having this sort of take up the sort of top as a headline. I would make it bigger, to be honest. Um, you know, you don't have to go right to the edge, but fill this, you know, really kind of fill the space there. Um, I would make these three logos much smaller. Um, maybe even, uh, even if you wanted to make this slightly bigger, um, but have maybe even have these three logos, you know, all three of them come to about here, give or take about halfway. Um, and then you could have the help the world see this Halloween here, have your three logos, have your main logo, and then it gives you this sort of larger block to break up some of these yeah, some of this text. Um, again, I, I think you are on a good track for um, how you have these separated. I might have this as it is, you know, one separate line, have the, it's a 10th annual site night as a separate line, maybe those two about the same size. And then you can even have, start this paragraph with scare up and then have it end with the afford it and have that be one smaller paragraph. And then again, separate this with a return, have this be a little bit smaller and then you have the contact info be bigger. Um, so you have, you know, big and bold, smaller, underplayed, smaller, underplayed here, big and bold, big and bold, but this a little bit bigger than all the rest, if that makes sense. But yeah, I think for, as far as like a sort of visual organization, I think you're on a really good path with this. All right, Mary. This one again. Uh oh, I did that again. Um, again, I think this is really well laid out. Um, I think for, for this one, um, for kind of tweaking this, depending on where your artboard actually is, if this is, I feel like, I feel like it's not, I feel like this, if this is your artboard, I think we need to check the size. Um, but I'm guessing it stops about here ish, give or take. So if this is the size of your artboard, cause it's supposed to be more rectangular that way. Anyway, um, I, I like how you have it laid out. Um, again, sort of what I might say for like the last one, um, I might make these just a touch overall together, make these just a touch smaller, just to give them a little bit more breathing room. Um, and then you can maybe make this a little bit bigger, but I like the way they have all these broken up. Your visual hierarchy makes a lot of sense. Um, 
not that we want to use like 900 different fonts, but you are using kind of like the same, there's a lot of the same font, the same weight. Um, so what I might do is play with the font for your headline here. Um, really, you know, you could really kind of push that to be a more playful, more goofy, whatever you want to call it font. Um, and then you could have these be this, I think it was a Cooper, um, have these be Cooper. Um, but again, what I might do is have this one be slightly bigger, um, same font, uh, same boldness. Um, and then you could have, um, I would try to, maybe, I'm trying to think. I think you might have your copy incorrect here. I would double check your copy, but I would have maybe even this all be about, you know, the same, even if you use Cooper or even have this be, you know, these all be the same font basically. But you could format, I have this people, but I would double check that your copy is correct there. I feel like there's something funky happening here. Um, and then I like how you have the, for more information in a collection kit, I like that. Um, and then I might even have this, if you found another different playful font, have this be the Help the World be the same font. So you have basically a bookend. So you have same font, same font, and then you have Cooper, Cooper like this, and then have this line be more like this font. You know what I mean? Um, so cleaner, more reserved, more playful, more playful. Keep this basically the same. And you can make that bigger. So you can have these kind of be bookends, if that makes sense. But I think as far as like the visual organization of it, I think you're like 75% there. And then Olivia. All right. So not that I don't like what you did, but um, we're not supposed to be using other clip art or other um, any anything provided other than the um, uh, than what's provided. Um, I could see if it was like one you know minor thing, or if you use that in the background maybe. Um, but anyway, um, let's talk about what you did there. I kind of like how you have this broken up. This is a little bit of a different approach, which I haven't really seen, which is. Very interesting. There's something funky happening here though. We'll have to check that out. Um, but yeah, so again, I might get a little bit more playful with some of your font selection, right? I like how you have this broken up. Um, so I'd have your headline. You can really, you know, again, it's Halloween themed, whatever you can kind of play around with that headline. I like where you have it formatted. Um, what you might do is take the site night logo and put it here sort of in this space. I know it's not gonna totally fill that space, but even if it came to about, I don't know, give or take here, and then you could still have this help the world see this Halloween and for free collection kit. What I might do is make that, can I actually, oh, I could, um, have that maybe be on one line a little bit smaller, and then you could have a return start here and then have this centered. So this is on one line and then or call or even have or call in the middle um, or call to free rather on another line. So you have this larger and bolder, this larger and bolder, and then this line there be smaller, kind of like this. Um, and that sort of fills that space a little bit more evenly if you have it center justified. Um, and then that leaves sort of this space now you have these three logos that you just kind of need to resize visually in this space. And you can even have it, see if they'll fit, you know, three right here, give or take. So take up this sort of rectangular area. And then you have this uh, relatively rectangular area or square area to have this text. And what I would do is maybe separate this line. So it's the 10th annual site night as a tagline. And then what you can do is take, really take this block and sort of center justify it, make it a little bit smaller, um, depending on your line breakage, depending on how much space you have here. Um, but really make that a lot smaller, um, just so you don't have like these two giant awkward blocks. And I can help again with this in person a little bit if, if I know explaining it this way is, is tricky without actually having people present. Um, and then I might take this, if you still want to use that, um, take this and if you wanted to have, you know, have it go basically from this corner to this corner, 
and have it behind everything and very light in the background. You can drop the opacity or even make it just like a 10% gray and make this like a 20% gray. Um, that would work. And again, keep in mind, this is going to be black and white. So if you wanted to have a little color, again, you'd have to choose like this background color instead of a blue. If you're going to make these gray, maybe like a 40% gray or something like that. But remember, it's going to be black and white. So if we're, we're working with any kind of, we're just working with shades basically. Um, but you can easily convert this to black and white. But yeah, I would use this as like a, a background image, if at all. Um, generally with provided art and clients, they want you to use what they give you and that's it. Um, yeah, overall, I think everybody did really well with this. Um, again, looking forward to seeing uh, what we did for part three.